Hello everyone and welcome to the second episode of my Minecraft series. I think today we're going to be doing some strip mining. We're going to get some iron, some diamond, gold, all that fun stuff. Although I might not grab a whole bunch of gold because gold, as of now, is much easier to get in the nether. Another update they released recently, just to thank for that. I like it. It makes it super easy to get gold. I don't use a whole lot of gold, uh, aside from, you know, maybe carrots or apples or whatever, but I don't build with it. I don't make tools or armor out of it or anything like that. Yeah. It'll be used very sparingly in this series. Yeah. As you can see, if you saw in the first episode of the thumbnail, I am Joe Burrow from the Cincinnati Bengals. Your Cincinnati Bengals. The soon-to-be MVP, comeback, comeback player of the year, Super Bowl champion, Super Bowl MVP, all that fun stuff. Hopefully. Probably not, but hopefully. So, yeah. Uh, get into it. Wish my face came on here. Get this going. Here. I hate how it does that. Alright. Let's get going. I've got to do something with this. This is so ugly. Definitely be episode three is gonna to be touching up this because I cannot stand how this looks. Also, I might decide to change my original plans of having a uh, an indoor indoor house, and I might move it outside. I do like this area over here. I like this this plains area. It's got a nice look to it. I think if I start over here and kind of build along here like a lighthouse looking thing even though i'm not sure why you need a lighthouse for this small an area but who knows it'll look cool i thought it really matters in minecraft right it's just the aesthetics i'm gonna try and find some of those dolphins that we we saw in the first episode but i can't find any got some fish while i'm down here though good, good source of food of course it's nighttime. i load in actually i spent Five minutes trying to get a thumbnail for the first video. Off. Oh, I'm drowning. Don't oh, drown to death. Don't drown to death. Oh. That would have been extremely embarrassing. I don't know why I didn't get air the first time. I came up, but it didn't punish my air bubbles. Alright, we'll sleep real quick. Didn't get it in. Oops. Alright, so this is gonna kind of get a suck with stone, so I might run, I might cut and run and get some iron real quick, make some iron picks, do some of that boring stuff, and then I'll be back in a couple seconds. I'm the way back. I'll show you where this is. This is really close, actually, which is kind of exciting. It's just in this little hole right here, and uh... The reason that excites me is because there's a mine shaft in there. And those usually hold lots of goodies. And are very convenient. That'll be fun to explore some other day. But today, we're going to get started on a strip mine. Which I know is not the most exciting thing to watch. So I'll probably cut a good bit of that out. Anything exciting happens, obviously, you know, if I find diamonds, cut back in, but a good portion of that's going to be cut out. You know, I'll sit here, smelt this iron, make a bit of iron, that should be quite enough to make some picks and go strip mining. Okay, just slept and woke up. I'm gonna craft some picks and we'll get going. So I made. Oops. I have 18 iron. Give us 6 picks. Don't need all those sticks, but made them anyway. Also killed some cod while I was waiting. On the sugar cane as well. Put some more down. Like I said, sugar cane is annoying. You need a lot of it, so. I'm gonna get this set up here. I have to have all my picks in the same place while doing this. Just makes things a lot faster. 
always throw my axe away. Always carry a crafting table. I'm gonna make a, a furnace too, actually. Just because it's never a terrible idea to have one of those down there as well. A little bit of a wasted space, but I think I'm, I think they're handy. A bucket too. I need a water bucket. Makes it very easy to traverse the lava. You have a water bucket. I do that so much. Place the torches. Okay. Where shall we go? Okay, I gotta pick this sugar cane up now because I forgot to get it earlier. Throw that back here real quick. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's go. Go this way. I want to put this relatively far away, relatively out of sight, I should say, from my a little hut. I don't want it to obstruct anything, make it look too ugly. Let's just start right here. No. I'm going to start digging down. Uh, once I hit Y equals 11, I will be, I will be back. Okay, so it seems I have chosen a terrible place to dig down. Because when I got to uh, Y equals 46, I hit a ravine, a massive ravine. So, a bit of a setback, but uh, I'm just going to build over it and keep going. Let's see you guys when I get down there. Okay, we have hit Y equals 11. That is my preferred digging height. I know some people will say Y equals 12 is better. In my personal experience, Y equals 11 is the place to be. That's where I'm gonna dig. That's where I wanna dig. This is my series. I'm gonna dig this out a little bit. I like to make like a A little mining hub where I have chests and a crafting table and furnace where I start stemming out my, my mine shafts. So I'll make it a I'll make it a little bigger here. I'd like have a nice decent sized room. Makes it feel nice and open. And she wants to place the chests and furnace down. And a crafting table obviously. It just makes it so much easier when you're mining and you can just run back real quick and drop all your stuff in here versus having to run all the way up the staircase back to your base and drop everything off there. Fill out your stuff, clear your inventory. It's much easier just to have a space down here. And that's good enough. Right. I'm gonna drop furnace at the table. I'm going to Make some chests. Okay. A few large chests. Plenty of space. Make the rest of these sticks. Just in case. I want to keep mining down here. I think I'll go. Where do I want to go first? I'm going to go straight, I think. Keep on going down this, this center line. Stop here. Start going. Talk to you guys if I find something. There's some redstone right here. It's not bad for the, for the levels. Get that XP up. One of the most important things in the game is experience to enchant, so we'll get that. And yeah, I'll see you guys if I find anything exciting, like a cave or diamonds. Okay, I hear some zombies. We'll see what that's all about. Oh, yeah, right here. Cave system. Hello there. Big bag. Big bag. Ooh, this is nice. This just reeks of diamonds. Oh. What do you know? Right here? Yeah, it's... 
That's what we're looking for. Oh, sticky keys. Oh no. Oopsie. Take this. I got that. All right. I'll probably get cut anyway, so. Ooh, man. I've only been looking at this for like five minutes. I'm happy about that. All right. We'll grab these. Do some more spore in this area. Let's see how many we get here. It's like a four vein. Yep. Do some more exploring in this area. Oh yeah, look at that achievement right there. Diamonds. All right, so uh, do some more exploring. Uh, get back with you guys if I find any any more. And see, this is a prime example of what I was talking about in the first uh, first episode with the coal. This coal vein started right here. These four blocks right here. All this dug out is where coal was. This goes all the way down bedrock. That's how much coal was in that vein. Crazy amount. Crazy, crazy amount. I got that one little, one little block first episode. Hope that helps you understand why I was so upset about that. Also, while I'm, while I'm thinking about this, I will say this episode is going to be a lot shorter, hopefully. Uh, when I was recording the first episode, I wasn't really thinking about editing. You know, I was just thinking about recording the episode, getting the gameplay, you know, whatever. I wasn't thinking about how, how much I was talking and how much of that I wanted to be in the video because I was talking a lot and I wanted most of that to be in the video. So it was like a 35 minute recording, which I was only able to get down to 30 minutes. I've been going for 42 minutes right now. Uh, at this point, I probably have 10 minutes of footage, which I'm actually pretty happy with. You know, I, I would like these to be a, around 20 minutes, ideally, maybe a little longer for the, uh, the build videos. But thankfully for a video, like a mining video, I'm going to be able to cut most of this out. I mean, I've only found one one vein of diamonds. That's really the only exciting thing that you find while mining. I'm not going to show you guys every time I find coal or iron or redstone or lapis just because that stuff is so abundant down here. Yeah, shorter videos, hopefully, from now on. Alright, so here we are. Just broke through to some diamonds. Isn't that fun? It's only the second vein we found, which is a little just a little disappointing. I've gone through. This is the sixth pickaxe. This is the last one that I have, so it's been a little rough on the diamond aspect. But we've got a good haul of uh, iron and coal. We have over two full stacks of iron, uh, five of coal, so. I'll get these mined up. Hopefully it's more than four. And it's just four. Break around just to make sure. Because you never know when there's one hiding adjacent. One of the blocks. Nope. No luck there. Alright. Shouldn't be too much longer. Like I said, this is my last pickaxe. I don't really plan on going back and making any more. Normally, that's something I would do. If I had more time, but it's very late at night. I am very tired, so definitely just a nice, easy six pickaxe strip mining trip today. All right, so I just broke my last pickaxe. Uh, I'm gonna call it here. My run back, Go back to my little hub, and uh, take a look at our haul. See you then. All right, so I made it back to the hub. I'm going to drop all of my cobble and gravel and andesite stuff that I get when I mine in these chests, just because I don't particularly like it to have it clutter up my chests at my home. It's much easier to do chest organization when you keep all of this stuff down here, just because. It's a pain in the butt to have to organize through andesite and gravel and diorite. So 
like that. So yeah, uh, pretty pretty good haul. A lot of the good essential stuff. A lot of iron. A lot of coal. Only eight diamonds. You know, I would have liked to have gotten more out of six picks, but it is what it is. I'm actually gonna stop and show you guys this. This is a part of the ravine that I happen to dig into. It's a I don't know the correct term for it, but it's two ravines intersecting each other, which is really cool. I'm pretty sure those are like super rare. Oh, oh goodness. Oh, that skelly just fell to his death. Rest in peace, my sweet prince. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'll have to check this out. It looks like it goes quite a long way too. It's pretty cool. So yeah, just wanna show that real quick. You guys view. All right, home sweet home. I'm gonna start working on getting some of this stuff crafted. Uh, can I make blast furnaces yet? I can make blast furnaces. That's gonna make things so much easier. Grab some wood. I don't know why I didn't even think of that until now. I should have grabbed my axe. And then, uh, I can also make, uh, smokers, which is nice. Those are another two things that are awesome additions to this game. I'm not too sure when those released officially on PC. Man, I think life's so much easier being able to smelt ores and cook food. I don't know how much faster, but it seems like a lot faster. Yeah, I'll grab some of this wood. And I'll see you guys back at home. Alright, so I just got done chopping wood. Got a stack and a block. This should satisfy our wood needs for a little while. Not too long, though. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make some blast furnace. Blast furnaces, I guess. Is how you'd say that? I can remember how to do this. I think this is just that, right? Yeah. I don't want to do all these. I don't want to waste all the wood. Sure. Let's throw this there. Maybe it's just this, right? Oh yeah. Look at it. Okay. Eight might have been each of me. Oh, those are smokers too. Oh, I need both, so. The furnace is smooth stone on the bottom and the iron at the top, that's right. I'll have to find a place to set those, I don't want to use those yet. I can make one blast furnace right now. For that, I need to smelt cobble. Plus those in there. Come on, there we go. Be smelted. Get the stone made. And I'll get back to you guys. Alright, so I have my blast furnace. I'm going to just right on top of this furnace right here. Looking the wrong way, but I don't care. Yeah, I will start smelting this stuff up. Get these separated into, into little eight blocks here. It's 64 blocks is eight coal to smelt. I'm uh, I guess I'll just gold real quick. Sucks having to smelt two gold, but that's all I found, so. I'll get this stuff smelted. I'll get the, the coal and the redstone put into blocks. Get a Bible's chest made. We'll see our, our total haul after everything is smelted down and everything looks pretty. So, I'll see you guys when I get to that point. Okay, so we just got everything smelted down and in this Bible's chest right here. 
with a single little chest for now. Definitely going to need to be moved into a double chest or a large chest just because it's already pretty packed. Oh yeah, not a, not a terrible mining trip, uh, you know, 35 plus blocks of coal, 14 plus blocks of iron, very little gold. Like I said earlier, you know, that's, that's more of another trip thing anyway, getting gold. Much more abundant than the nether. A uh, good amount of redstone, a bit of lapis, use that for some enchanting. Eight blocks of diamonds, not too shabby. Almost a full set of tools, so not too terrible. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Um, hopefully I can get it down to about 20-30 minutes. Ideally, that's how I'd like them, how long I'd like them to be. But yeah, so next episode, I plan to uh, take care of this situation, a living situation. So if you're watching this, let me know what you want to see, whether it be remodeling this, making it look pretty, making it bigger, you know, adding some feng shui, or just completely abandoning this and moving somewhere else, building an above ground base, or option C, which is something else, you know, let me know, let me know what you think. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, I will see you guys in the next one.